Good afternoon, YouTube shopkeepers and do-it-yourselfers out there in YouTube land. They were ripping into a 2005 F-150 four-wheel drive. This has got the 5.4, but I don't believe that any of that matters. Uh, got a bad four-wheel drive actuator. That It's automatic, vacuum-operated, uh, uh, wheel lockout. And... If these are functional, that lets your your uh, CV shaft spin freely while or or stay stationary while your wheels are rotating when you're going down the road, and that reduces the wear on the front end, vibration, and and uh, increases your fuel economy and power and all that because you got less pulling on the engine. But when these go bad, they don't. They don't function like like it should. Here's a new one. They get vacuum to this uh, to the bigger. I, I don't have three hands. To the bigger port. This is just a vent. They get vacuum to that when the engine's running, and you have the four wheel drive uh, switch in the two wheel drive mode you will have vacuum on this and that pulls this this is a basically a diaphragm but it pulls this inward and uh, that lets this gear disengage from this the gear on the axle there's a gear on your on your bearing we'll get it apart here and i'll show you and uh but it, it separates the two so once it spins freely but if if this um the vacuum doesn't work and these will bind up and they'll stick and they won't function right it'll either stick in the two-wheel drive or in the four-wheel drive but let's see if i can pinch this between my leg there we go okay See, that's in the that's in the engaged position so there's no vacuum on it so we're going to pretend that there's vacuum on it and that pulls that in it doesn't move very far and i'm going to put my finger over that vacuum line to hold it well that didn't work Let me... oh i had it on the wrong port okay now I just got my finger over it see I let the vacuum out so you, you know that one's good that's that's the new one but anyway so you got it supported jack the thing up and uh, I chose to do it this way but if you don't you got to take this big bolt out right here for the the, the front strut slide it out and and move your strut out of this shoe so you got enough room to move your your axle and then you got to take these uh, six 12 point 13 millimeter bolts out of this axle flange all the way around it and then you got to take there's a 13 millimeter head bolt that goes in right here on the end of your axle you don't see it there because it's pulled in uh, part of the way. And then you can wiggle your axle out through here. And then you can take these three 5 16 or 8 millimeter bolts out around this uh, actuator. Take that out, put a new one in, and back together you go. But <clears throat> I oiled these threads, took that nut loose i believe that was a 20 a 21 millimeter and the tie rod ends a 21 millimeter and the bottom i believe is like a like a 15 16 the bottom ball joint and uh but i'm doing some service on the brake so i had the caliper off and so the only other thing i needed to do was just unhook the abs wire and it's up in here there's a connector right there so you don't uh, stress that and break it 
and uh, so you didn't have to mess with taking the the six bolts out of that and uh, fart around with that strut but anyway let me uh, get this set down off of there that didn't take long but you can kind of see that this is the gear for the actuator showing right there I'm going to take them three bolts and pull that uh, actuator out and you can see all the the metal content and the grease and that's sharp where it's been grinding on there I think we're going to have to replace that bearing too because that's got a that gear is pressed on there but see this gear floats that moves it it floats between being rested on here and being uh, coupled together from this gear to that gear that that gear creates a bridge so it's driven by this gear and it pushes the uh, transfers the force through this gear into that gear and if this doesn't move far enough it slips and uh, you can see in there there's that's junk I think we're gonna have to put a new bearing in there now let me see if I can balance this phone on my leg again we'll show you how this one doesn't work see it moves it moves okay and you put that dag one I'll keep putting it on it's not the tall one it's the uh, well it holds it just a little bit but it's junk It'll hold a little bit of vacuum, but the diaphragm and it's got a rip in it, so it doesn't hold it completely. Yeah, we're gonna to, I'm glad I went ahead and took that off anyway. We're gonna to to take these four bolts out right here. One, two, three, four, and pull that that hub assembly out and put a new one in there. Anyway, uh, that's how you do it. And these these will go on there only one way they only go on one way these bolt holes are lined up so it only goes on one way if you put it the wrong way your bolt holes won't line up see so but it goes the vacuum lines go to the top anyway guys thanks for watching share like and subscribe